you said Daddy was coming too. He is. He's coming straight from the office. He won't be too much longer. You seem to be really enjoying your book. Yeah. Did you learn anything new from it? Yes. Like what? Like, did you know that our Milky Way galaxy is on a collision course with the Andromeda galaxy? And if it does, it's most likely going to destroy our entire solar system. That doesn't sound too good. Don't worry, that won't happen for another four billion years. Humans will most likely be extinct by then. Oh, how charming. Dad's in there, sweetie. Hi, hey, Ewan. Hello, Ewan. Mr. and Mrs. Goldsmith. Ewan's such a bright boy. He's knowledgeable beyond his years and he's a delight to have in the classroom. It's just I, um, I wonder about the social aspect of his school experience. He doesn't seem to be able to integrate with his classmates. He's been here nearly three months now and doesn't seem to be wanting to change that. We know he's different from other children, but he's getting good grades and he's happy in his own little world. I'm just worried that if he doesn't adapt to socialising, that when he's older, he'll struggle even further with it. No, we tried before at the last school. Swimming, karate, golf, nothing ever stuck. I've been looking into it and there are special classes and programmes designed for people on the spectrum like you and... I mean, we looked into private schooling. It's just not feasible. Well, how about getting him a, a pet? How is a pet going to help him to interact with human children? Well, there's been a lot of research on the topic and the link between children with autism and Asperger's and canine companions. A canine? A dog? I thought you meant like a hamster or something. There's no way he'd cope uh, with... We could look into this. I always had a dog as a kid, growing up. That's some of the best memories of my childhood. Do you remember how much work a puppy is? I think it'll be too much. The puppy before you, and to help him connect with others. But puppies cause mess and chew everything. Do you think you would cope with that chaos? Well, how about an older dog? Be house trained, much calmer than a puppy. They always have problems. Not always. Sometimes it's just a sweet old lady who's passed away and doesn't want to look after it. What if Ewan doesn't like dogs? He doesn't like that dog from number 12. No one likes that dog. How about we take Ewan and see some dogs, see if he's interested in one. We'd both love to be able to see you and connect with others. You more than anyone would love to hug you and stuff. Lots to look at. Why don't you go and have a look around before you decide? That one, please. Well, what's that one like? Is it suitable for someone like you? Then? Yeah, definitely. She is full of love and energy. She'd be perfect. Any particular reason why that one? We've set up a bed in the kitchen and another in your bedroom in case you want company when you're reading or looking at the stars. So what do you think? She smells like a wet towel. Well, we'll give her a bath and then she'll be smelling as fresh as a daisy. Yeah. I can't believe he finally convinced them to come out for a walk. Maybe Luna is going to bring him out of shell. Mm, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just see where it goes. It's still early days.
Luna Goldsmith. Would you and be more comfortable waiting outside for this? Where's Luna? I need to see her. She's resting right now, but we need to discuss the options available for her. What options? Well, with a dog her breed, it's quite common for her problems to be linked to cancer of her spine or even her brain. We'd of course need to do a biopsy to make sure of this. However, there are inherent risks with such an operation. Is there a non-surgical option? It just seems so risky. Well, without definitely knowing what's causing her pain and discomfort, I'd be concerned for her quality of life. I wouldn't be suggesting this course of action if I didn't think it would give Luna the best possible chance. Can we take Luna home now? Could you give us a moment, please? Of course. If you need me, just ask at reception and I'll be right over. So, you know Luna's really poorly right now? Yeah. Can we take her home now? Not yet, sweetie. See, the vet needs to try and make her feel better. And to do that, Luna needs an operation. And after that, we can take her home? You need to understand that they try really hard to fix the problems, but they aren't always able to. There are risks involved. Night, sweetie. sorry to have to say this, but Luna sadly passed away. There were complications during surgery. Her cancer was very widespread and her heart failed. If it's any consolation, she passed peacefully. So can Luna come home now? Luna can't come back with us, Chan. She's gone off to play with all the other doggies who passed away. Don't we know where she is? Can't we go and get her? She died, sweetie. So, so she's gone? She passed away, yes. We know how much Forever? She... she was my friend. My best friend. I know it hurts, but remember, you made the last months of her life so full of love and joy. You don't understand. She's gone. She was my favourite thing in the entire universe, and she's gone. I know she was. But, you know, the way you feel about Luna... Your dad and I love you just as much. You're our favourite thing in the universe. We're always here for you. I love you too. <laughs> Something tells me that there could be more to life Than a waiting death in single file Maybe when I die I'll be immortalized By a sentence in the Sunday time When I'm gone When I'm gone 